fears that the much expected national convention of the all progressive congress apc may not hold this year emerged recently when senator kabi marafa raised further constitutional hurdles against the governor my malaberni led ketika and extraordinary convention planning committee cecpc marafa had in a press conference chided the cecpc for rushing the zamfara state congress stating that the attempt to overlook Section 85 of the Electoral Act 2010 showed that Bonnie and his group wanted to ground the party. The Zamfara born former lawmaker faulted the CECPC for failing to comply with the stipulations of the Electoral Act in organizing the State Congress without giving the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, the traditional 21 days notice. Bonnie had in a statement by his Director General Media, Mamam Mohammed said marafa rushed to the media to spew insults on the party and its leadership wondering whether he was acting on behalf of the opposition but marafa through his spokesperson Belo maradu challenged bonu bonnie to respond to the crucial issues raised in the findings as apc's woes heightens governor samuel autumn of benway state yesterday came hard on the party stating that the president Mohammed buhari and his party have failed in providing leadership for the country he urged nigerians to save the country from total collapse by voting apc out in 2023 autumn who accused the apc administration of ineptitude in all ramifications said the opposition's people's democratic party pdp governors had therefore agreed to rescue nigeria from the brinks in 2023 Speaking with newsmen in Abuja, the governor said the APC leadership has lost control owing to ineptitude exhibited by the leadership. Hence, many Nigerians became internally displaced persons, IDPs, in their own country due to insecurity. In Kanu State, former Deputy Governor Professor ha Haviz Abubakar has declared loyalty to the Ibrahim Shakur led party leadership. The Dawn had denounced support for Governor Abdullahi Ganduje's leadership under Abdullahi Abbas as chairman. Abu Bakr was Ganduje's deputy from 2015 to 2018 when he dumped the governor to contest the 2019 governorship election under the People's Democratic Party PDP. The former deputy vice chancellor of Bayero University, Kano UK, later returned to the People's Redemption Party PROP when the PDP ticket went to former Governor Rabi Ukankwaso's political godson, Abba Yusuf. The politically inclined professor of food science later returned to APC in 2019 and reunited with Ganduje and then joined forces to defeat Kan Kankwasia's political dynasty. Shoving another political shock, Abu Bakr has decided to team up with the controversial chairman of the party, Amadou Danzago, anointed by Shekaru, Baro Jibril and some House of Representatives members from Kano to reject what they considered as lopsided leadership of Ganduje's government. Speaking with journalists yesterday in Kano, Abu Bakr said his decision to align with Shekuru's camp amid the crisis rocking the ruling party was not unconnected with the future of the party. APC as a ruling party, they are already re reaping the, the fruit of the seeds they've been sowing. Let's forget about all those ones that they are saying that uh, they are winning governors over. All those governors they are winning over, they are the ones that are, are just moving over for their selfish interests. Because APC is a failed party. We saw what played out even in an Ambra governorship election. The people rejected APC again. Even though they are fighting right now that they want to contest the outcome of the election. But the truth is that uh, um, their scorecard is being read to them right now. If the party is doing well, the people will choose them. Now, uh, uh, a lot of crisis within the party because things are not d done proper. Even with the convention, the planned convention, my Malaburni, surprisingly, it was a six-month interim uh, 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 position for him after Adam Soshomole was sent back in last year, October, I uh, beg your pardon, June 25th last year. That was when my Malaburni was um, appointed by President Mohammed Buhari, after the next meeting, that he should put the party together, reconcile, aggrieve members, and also conduct the convention. This is another December we are approaching right now. 
And the report we're getting is that there will be no convention, no convention. I don't know what they are, uh, they are, they are doing right now within the All Progressive Congress. You know, even see what's going on in Kano State right now. The truth is all unfolding. The cover-up they've been covering up that while well, APC is winning governors, all governors are moving over. It's, it's opening up right now that there are a lot of uh, uh, um, irregularities within the party. The party's failures, they are beginning to come out in the open. So they should stop deceiving themselves. Who are they deceiving? Nigerians know that even uh, they, when they claim here and there that, oh, this governor just moved, this senator just moved, this one has just moved. Nigerians know what is going on. That those ones that are moving is hungry. It's an empty stomach that is informing their decision. CFFK, Fanika Ode, shame, very shameful. Moving over to the All Progressive Congress, claiming that um, he wants to join the move. What is APC doing for the country? See the insecurity, heightened insecurity under Buhari's um, government. Hardship everywhere. See, see the way the country is. Even agitations, they cannot even manage the agitation. In the first place, what's the reason for the agitations? Is it not because of um, the injustice that uh, Buhari's government represents? All of the uh, the... The, the weak, I'll call it wickedness, is wickedness, oppression, intimidation. Those are all of the things that um, characterizes uh, President Mohamed Buhari's government. Everything is beginning to come out now. Even the Congress itself cannot be held because party members, they, are big, they want to start exposing all of their shady deeds, everything that is going on. My Mala Bernie right now, um, who is um, sitting as the, the chairman, is occupying the, the position of the chairman of the party. Party chieftains are already kicking. It was um, Senator Kabiru Marafa who recently revealed that uh, a lot of constitutional hurdles are standing before even this governor, Maya Malaberni, and that is um, something that is uh, going to delay the convention. So convention that we're waiting for that uh, a national chairman will emerge very soon. Because, you know, one thing that um, uh, members of the party have um, insisted is that there is nothing like the CECPC under the constitution of the Own Progressive Congress. It's quite understandable that uh, an interim leadership has to be there, but not for this long, over one year. Buhari extended it a couple of times and who knows, maybe he's planning another extension. Meanwhile, the opposition party, they are seeing everything that is going on. They are, they are taking advantage. It was autumn. Governor of Benue State, who recently stated that um, they've agreed to rescue Nigeria from APC. Well, guys, leave us your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.